Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, if this is your first time visiting the channel then please do hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I do lots of videos like this all about the van, uh, modifications, stuff like that and there's going to be plenty more to come in the uh, up and coming months so if that's something that might be of interest to you then please do hit that subscribe button. So today's video is all about the sort of kitchen area um, and the storage in and around that um, sort of area. Now I'm not going to lie this video as I previously mentioned in a previous video is probably going to divide opinion once again because I'm just looking down at it now because I've already done most of it. I do think it's going to prompt a few comments once I post this video because what I've done is fairly drastic um, I have completely changed the kitchen area and I've still not finished yet I've still got more to do which we'll come on to later on in the video so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it was and where I'm up to now the reasons for doing it and as I've said before I think your van needs to reflect you and the way you live in your van or the way you use your van the way things are laid out is all tailored to your needs nobody else's so there's no right and wrong answers in my opinion but like I say this is going to divide opinion so we'll get into the video I'll show you where we're at and uh, what I've still got to do to uh, complete the transformation now you will have seen part of this um, modification in a previous video um, but it is relevant to the sort of kitchen area as you'll see as we as we crack on so I'll just take you down to where um, the sort of modification all began and uh, I'll explain a bit more about it right so it was down in this area here and this is obviously under my rock and roll bed and here was the panel the sort of white um, furniture board panel it had a door in it that was not massive and when you drop the door down you were limited to how you could access the area under the rock and roll bed so what I decided to do was completely take that remove that board um, which was relatively weighty not overly heavy but it was it was added weight now what I've used is um, my trusty foam board as you can see there I've made a little plinth down the bottom which is made out of wood um, but the actual panel itself is made out of foam board so now I have this panel here which is just on magnets as you can see there and um, like I say I showed you this in a previous video and you can see now I have full access to that area there and I can get stuff from my uh, drawer system which again is in a previous video if you want to see that video I will put a link up at the top so like I say that panel was removed that just clicked back on and uh, that was my modification for that particular part of the uh, rock and roll bed I then thought about my kitchen area now this is my kitchen area I've got the sink and as you can see there I've already removed the tap again in a previous video because I thought do I need a tap and it did cause quite a few comments people saying well why are you taking the tap out what's the point I just don't use it I don't use the tap I don't need running water I've got I've got a fridge down here which I keep I can just put bottles of water in and that's enough for me it's not like there's four of us going away on all day it's just me or me and the kids more often than not it's just me and then I've got the twin burner there and that's my that's my countertop so I then moved on to this section down here now this used to be um, again the white furniture board but I had two doors vertical doors there and there and when the rock and roll bed was pulled out I couldn't access those doors so I thought right I need to do something about that so what I did is I took the panel from there and I thought oh that might fit in there and as you can see it does quite nicely 
So I've now got that drop down panel and you can see in there I've made a shelf all nicely carpeted. It's a really good storage area that now and I can access that when the rock and roll bed's out. I then decided to get a toilet and as you can see there I've got the toilet in there. Now a lot of people have toilets, they're porta potties, mine's the 335 and a lot of people have said you need to get one of these um, collapsible sort of boxes from Dunelm and that's what I did <clears throat> and it does, the 335 fits in there absolutely perfect and I've seen people leave them out here, if you haven't got any kind of storage system under there some people push them under but in that it wouldn't go under there anyway and uh, some people leave them here and as an extra seat or a footstool it's ideal it's absolutely brilliant I love it but I thought I don't want it in this space here because I very often have to transport my lad's bike paddle boards I just wanted this space clear so I decided to make or create a storage area for the porta potty and that's what I did I battened it out behind there that's just foam board panelling it's not completely finished yet so it's a little bit rough and ready but it, you get the idea and I measured it all to size and luckily this board <laughs> I didn't have to cut it down at all it was just that height and it fits absolutely perfect I've even managed to utilize the uh, this plastic trim I took off um, another panel well the panel that came out of there I took the trim off and I've managed to fit trim down there just to neaten it up the panel that was previously there, are, you, are, you, are you with me are you keeping up with me the panel that was previously there I cut down and I made this section using this curved bit here so as you can see I've got the letter E now so that's now called the E cupboard um, so I've created that more shelving inside all nicely carpeted I've put a little front on it there and these just all these come out they're not permanently fixed they do come out but the the friction of the carpet just pushes into place I've cut them just to the right size so they just fit nicely these are just they are just panels for up at uh, up there so I've got now these two storage areas things are just thrown in at the moment I haven't decided what's going in there yet all nicely carpeted sides top bottom so I've now got those two storage areas I've now got my toilet slid away into there I can pull that out if I ever need to use it or use it as a footstool or use it as an extra chair so to me now that is a more usable space for me might not be for you but for me it's perfect now then this is where we're going to start dividing opinion put that back in there so back to the countertop I've seen a lot of videos and you know who you are Yorkshire pop top um, telling us all about induction hobs and I thought hmm that's not a bad idea now I know you can only use an induction hob when you're on electric hookup which is fine because if I ever go camping and more often than not will be at a campsite and I will get an electric hookup so that won't be an issue if I'm ever out while camping and I can't use the induction hob I have the Alpkit brew kit which is like a poor man's uh, jet boil which I can just place on here or on my table when I put the bar on there um, and I can just make a brew or I can do a pot noodle or I could do small boil in the bag meals I've used it before and it's great really quick really clean love it so I can use that if I need extra 
I've also got one of those um, canister, gas canister, um, small countertop gas stoves that you get from like go outdoors or places like that. Really cheap. I've used them before and they're brilliant. So I've got that under there if I need that. So I thought, right, do I need, I don't, I've already said I don't really need my sink. Do I really need the gas hob? Because this isn't piped in. Since I've had the conversion done, this has never ever been piped in. It's never been used. And of course I was going to fit a gas locker in there. I was going to pipe it all in, get it all fitted properly, get it tested. And all that would, all that would have been under there. I wouldn't have been able to do what I've done there if I'd have had a gas locker. So I've now decided and I've already started taking this out. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to sell that. Um, but then obviously I've got a big hole in my countertop. So I thought, right, what I really like, and I've seen it on photos on Instagram and stuff like that, people with lovely pieces of like pine or oak, all nicely stained and varnished, and they look absolutely amazing. So I thought, do you know what? That's what I want to do. So I decided I'm going to take this out. I'm going to find myself a nice piece of oak and I'm going to fit it, cut it round, uh, maybe create a table as well out of the same stuff and just have it as a countertop. Th that's my plan. So I started looking for pieces of oak. Oak isn't cheap, let me tell you. It's not cheap. I know it's not a massive piece that, but oak is really quite expensive. So I started thinking outside the box then. I started thinking, ooh, I wonder if anybody's selling an oak coffee table the right size that I can cut down to make a countertop. So I went on Facebook Marketplace and I looked local to myself where I live, because that's what local means. Um, and I found a few people selling coffee tables. Some weren't right, some weren't big enough. But then I found this one and it was a lot bigger than I wanted, <laughs> shall we say. But I thought, do you know what? I'll go and have a look at that. So, that's what I did. Right. Well, I have just been to collect a coffee table. An oak coffee table. I wanted a piece, nice piece of oak to uh, make a, a countertop in the back there. Um, I found somebody who's selling a coffee table online near to where I live, which is good. And I've just been to collect it and they said it's so-and-so farm. So I was looking for a farm around here and there's a lot of farms around here. And the first one I went to, I thought, this can't be it. This doesn't look right. It was a run down, terrible looking, rickety old farm. No, wrong place. So I went back up the road and round the corner, there was this huge mansion with electric gates. And I thought, this can't be it, surely. But then, sure enough, I saw a big stone sign on the outside with the name of the farm. So I text them, the gates opened, I drives in, I goes into the uh, conservatory at the back. Well, it wasn't even a conservatory, it was more like an orangery. Big snooker table which I was jealous about because I've always wanted a snooker table full size we're talking 12 by 6 snooker table and uh, there was the coffee table and it was huge it was huge it was nearly as big as the snooker table I've had to, I've lifted it in the back with, with the guy who helped me the son I think he was really heavy so I'm going to be able to get a countertop and the table all matching for 30 quid absolute bargain proper proper oak i was i was unsure as to whether it was going to be laminate but it's not it's solid oak i'm absolutely over the moon so how i'm going to get it out of the van i don't know i don't think i'm going to be able to if i'm honest i might have to wait till uh, i've got somebody who can help me lift it out but i'm absolutely made up with it so i've got myself a nice big solid piece of oak 
ready to make a new countertop and table. Happy days! And there it is. Look at that! It seems a shame to butcher this. Seems a shame, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off, leave this, and maybe put another top on it, and then sell that <laughs> as a big coffee table for 30 quid, make all my money back. I only need that bit, and then a table coming out. Brill. Right. I'm gonna to attempt to take all this off now, just to make it easier to lift out. And so, we're back. We've got the piece of oak. It's massive, it's heavy, but once it's cut down to that size, it will fit nicely on there, I'm hoping. And I've got enough to also make a table. Yes, it's gonna be heavier than the table I've got there, but because of the weight I've saved, it's and I'm getting rid of that and I've not got a gas locker the way I've saved I've kind of gained it so I think it's going to be all right it's going to be fine so that's my plan I'm now going to get rid of this sell that and then I'm going to create a nice oak countertop on there so that's the next job all that storage I could even incorporate maybe a drawer or a drop down panel there and create some storage there now as well mmm I like it right just need to take this out now Why would you do that? Why would you not just put that in and then put that in? Now, of course, the screw only comes out that far. <laughs> I can't get the screw out. I think it's out of this. I think that's now loose. But I've had to use this. Just going bit by bit. Then use long nose pliers. Then use my fingers. And that's as far as I, out as it comes. But I'm hoping that that screw is out enough I might have to cut that screw cut the end off and then use the pliers to just take the rest of it out what a ball lake that was the easy one I've got that one there and then one at the other side to do and they're going to be really difficult I might not even be able to get them <laughs> well that was Borlacus Maximus. I've had to cut the screws. There was one there, one there, one there which I managed to unscrew just, and one there. And I've had to use hacksaw blade, just prise the countertop away enough to get the hacksaw blade in. It's finally come free. What a nightmare. Whew. Time for a brew, I think, and a break. But I think that's the hard work done. 
fitting the count new countertop is going to be the pleasurable part of the project I think right brew time and that is first fit do you know what the first fit I'm quite happy with that <laughs> that looks fantastic oh wow just needs a bit of fine tweaking well, that fits in there just nice solid oak love it right okay um we're a few days on now what i've now done is i've now completed uh, the installation of the solid oak worktop um it's all in place it's all secured uh, it's had three coats of danish oil just to protect it from any sort of water that might spill uh, on the top of the worktop and what I've also done because I had so much <laughs> solid oak to work with is I've created a, a table as well uh, slightly bigger than the original table that was made with the furniture board uh, I've extended it just to just to give me more table space so when I'm when I'm sat here um, two people can sit side by side and still have plenty of table to sit uh, and eat but there's enough room to get around the uh, end of the table if you ever needed to get out um, it slides up and down the rail perfect um, it just works in really well now I know with it being solid oak it is uh, quite a bit heavier than the furniture board table but the weight like I said previously the weight that I've saved in not having a gas bottle a gas locker and the sink the cooker all that kind of thing it's kind of balanced each balanced each other out and i think the final look is brilliant i really like it i'm really pleased with it um i have actually started working on another section of this sort of kitchen area although it's not going to feature in this video um i bought myself an induction hob um which i want in a sort of shelving area above the fridge i haven't decided how i'm going to do it yet whether i have it on sliders that come out and then i can just lift it out and put it on the worktop or on the table and just plug it in to the 240 volt socket and um, i just haven't quite decided yet so that's why i'm not including it in this part of the video but really um that's the end of this video like i said um it's probably going to divide opinion the fact that i've completely removed the double gas hob and the sink um, I've completely redesigned the whole unit and personally I like it it's just suited to my needs and I'm really happy with it so please let me know in the comments below what you think um, have I gone too far is it something you might consider doing have you already done it um, have you got a sink have you got a hob let me know in the comments down below because I would re be really interested to know what other people are doing in their vans so I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, then please do consider hitting that subscribe button because there's going to be plenty more videos like this uh, coming up in the future. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.